What should I name the baby? After my favorite color? After my favorite snack? Or after my favorite clothing brand? Nothing is really jumping to the front of my mind after staring into your cold, dead eyes. So I think I'm just gonna go with all three. Favorite color, blue. Favorite snack, waffle. Favorite clothing brand, Gucci. You're gonna be blue waffle Gucci. Hope you appreciate that. Oh, he didn't. And I broke him again. I'm really trying here. What's up guys, welcome back to what I can only imagine will be a very child protective services filled episode of Three Random Games. And we'll start things off with a game called Save the Baby. Now this might shock some of you guys, but believe it or not, I've never been a pregnant woman before. And the last time I interacted with a child was when I was one. So don't be all that surprised if this video ends with the shoebox sized coffin and jail time. I would have never guessed in a million years that this would open on a dance floor. Oh my god, I feel sick. What should I do? Keep partying or visit a doctor? Well, I mean, that depends. Like, if I am pregnant, then yeah, I, I should probably stop shaking my baby maker and go visit a doctor. But if I'm not pregnant yet, then I should keep partying. You know, a club is one of the best places to go to quickly meet a guy and then have him toss it in ya. We've got the tattoo guy who is quite clearly tripping on something. And the sunglasses at night guy who could think he's in the Matrix or be blind. One way or another, it's a man buffet, so we're gonna keep partying. Look, worst case scenario, I get double pregnant and have a mulligan. Uh-oh, I feel dizzy. Better see a doctor anyway. Why do I try? Better yet, what kind of family doctor works at 3 in the morning? Like, the only time you should ever go straight from a bar to a hospital is because a guy named Cleaver stabbed you with a broken bottle. How should I get there? Take a cab or run? I don't know why Run is being yelled at me, but I, I, I really don't think we need a doctor. I think you need to pee on something. And that something isn't a doctor. I'm not familiar with the logistics. Either way, we're gonna run. Not sure I'll make it to hospital in one piece. Not sure English so good either, but give it the old college try. I think she made it. Honey, you're pregnant. What should I do? Find it. A father? Or raise the kid alone? Uh, hold on, back it up. A father? Not the father, just a father. Doesn't really matter who. Maybe it's not too late to go back to the bar and see if we can get that blind guy to follow us home. Or lead him back to our home. Oh no. Yo, we're gonna do that. I think that sounds hilarious. You know, maybe whoever will pick up will just show a good time and then constantly call him daddy. That way, months down the road, when he finds out we're pregnant, we can be like, yeah, guess what? I need to find the father of my child. We'll get right on that. What a busy week this has been. And I got paid a hundred bucks. I don't think that's how hospitals or babies work, but I could be wrong. Well, it's the next morning and we're alone, but who can be the father? Should I get a DNA test or should I ask my friend? Are we gonna ask our friend to be the father or are we gonna ask our friend who the father is? Or are we gonna ask our friend how is Babby formed? Because I'm pretty sure we didn't poke pissers with anyone, so I'm very confused right now. Let's try that. Use our lifeline, ask a friend. She's right. A DNA test is the only thing that will hold up in court. Again, why do I even try? Like, I'm starting to think the babies just raise themselves. Or not. It, it literally just heard us asking dumb questions and thoughts. No, I don't want this one to be my mom. I'm tossing up deuces and I'm out. I didn't even think that was possible before you formed a hand. After spending the entire first week making nothing but bad decisions, I kind of figured the only way I could screw this up would be by like belly sliding down a set of stairs. But evidently not, so I guess we're just gonna get that DNA test because the kid's calling the shots now. I'll get a paternity DNA test. Except, how is that gonna work? 
Like, the whole point is to test the baby's DNA versus yours and demands. You know, the potential father, that thing that we didn't drag home from the bar in a burlap sack last night. <laughs> so what are you hoping for here? But where to get the DNA test? What should I do? Buy it in a pharmacy or order it online? We should definitely order it online. The pharmacy doesn't accept V-Bucks. I've got a whole bunch left over. <laughs> this one has good reviews. Plus, it's cheap. You, you don't want to splurge too much when it comes to figuring out who your baby daddy is. <laughs> I need samples of potential... Wait, 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 what? Hold, slow, slow down. Wait, who is it? My friend's boyfriend or my ex-boyfriend? <laughs> okay, so we are going to get a man's sample, but the question is, whose? I think it might have actually been my friend's boyfriend. Oh, we're just the worst. <laughs> Uh-oh, it's Steve of Minecraft fame. We drank too much wine that one night, then before you know it, he was plumbing my shafts. That's a Minecraft joke. Don't take that as dirty. Good luck passing ahead that's shaped like a brick, though. Oh, never mind. Steve looks more like Sid from Toy Story. What do I do? Invite him in or not let him in? Let's not let him in. You Just spit on the swab and go away. Whoa, hey, I said leave. And he came in anyway. Honestly, did the baby invite him in? Because I'm starting to think that nothing I do matters. What do I talk about? Talk about the weather or get to the point? Get to the point. Jesus, All right, we need to talk about the baby. I hope he understands. So here's the thing. I, I I wanted, oh, okay, he's freaking out. What do I do? Screw him? I think that more so means screw him, not screw him like for a second time. Or I could calm him down and get samples. I, I'd say we screw him. You know, like I said, maybe we do get double pregnant. Who knows? I'm sure there'll be hairs around afterwards to DNA test. Oh, very clever. So he's going to leave. We're going to get the test regardless and pray that it isn't him. Is the constant fear that something is going to come bursting out of you like a xenomorph what it means to be pregnant? Because I don't think I like this. My friends want to go out and party with me. Should I tell them I don't have transportation there? Or I gotta get back on the dance floor of life? I mean, we don't have transportation. We're going to have to run. But sure, yeah, let's go. Baby's going to have a great sense of rhythm. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to shake a baby after it's born. So long as it's inside of you, I, I think it's probably okay or not. I guess we're just going to tell them we don't have any transportation and sit here brewing our spawn. Oh, no. Tell me that's not them outside right now. Is this just trying to screw with me? Because it feels like the universe is screwing with me. Almost as much as that guy is trying to. I see that guy's eyes on me. Yeah, everyone does, and they're creepy eyes. <laughs> Should we introduce ourselves or wait for him to make a move? No, 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 creepy will do, okay? We need to take initiative. <laughs> we gotta get somebody locked down quick. Here goes nothing. Oh, hey, how's it going? I'm, I'm not pregnant, don't check. Did he just feel my stomach to make sure? It's been a while since I've been to a bar, but I don't think that's normal. This guy's weird. He wants to keep hanging out. Should we go to his place or should we invite him to our place? Mm, I'd rather not end up as a lamp. So how about we bring him back to our place? That way, if we get murdered, at least somebody will find our body. Did I pick up the underwear on the floor? Because I'm about to toss a fresh pair down. <laughs> For a game called Save the Baby, there is a distinct lack of baby. When are we going to get this show on the road? I don't care what you have for breakfast. A, a green smoothies, whatever's healthy. Yeah, I need to clear my system. I don't think that's a thing. Oh, he's still here. Oh, my. I don't remember his name. Yeah, because we never got it. <laughs> Let's just ask for it. Be an adult. Oh, it's nice to meet you, Henry. I'll forget that in about two seconds. Same time next week? We're going to schedule these things? Uh, yeah. How about tomorrow? I really need you coming back soon. Th th that way we can lock you down faster. See you then. Goods. Great. 
so... Oh, it's going week by week. And it takes how many weeks to form a baby? A lot? I swear to God, if I have to spend the next 15 minutes dressing you, uh, let's just wear something lacy. Yeah, it's a little pricey, but it's worth it. You're probably not even going to bother putting it on, are you? That looks almost identical to what you're wearing, just without pants. I mean, removing pants is probably going to help with the whole situation, but you're not going to bother putting it on. Why do I even try? Okay, I, I don't want to ask why this guy is mentioning fingers. We're clearly not after that. I'm going to skip to the point where we actually have a baby. Oh my god, how is this on the Play Store? <laughs> no! It looks like somebody set off a firework in a deli meat sandwich! Oh! Three random games. Just gonna go ahead and suppress that memory real quick and then move on to a game called Parenting Choices, where this is me, and this is my baby! I don't know why I'm surprised to have a baby in a parenting game, but at least he's born the right way. Just confetti him into my hands, with hair and diaper and all. It's perfect. Where should the baby sleep? In a box or in a crib? Wait, what do you mean in a box? That caught me off guard. Like a cardboard box? <laughs> yeah, I like that. That's a good start. Let's put new wallpaper. That's where all the crib money's going. Obviously, we need to get either dogs, cats, or nightmare-inducing clowns. Yeah, we don't have enough sleep paralysis demons on the walls. Even though, I should be careful here, shouldn't I? Because this is Henry's kids, right? Did we figure that out after? I don't even remember what the results of the DNA test were. I just don't want him to grow up to be a serial killer like his father. So if I don't want to get stabbed for a pack of cigarettes in 15 years, should I turn on a nightlight, light a small fire, or leave the room completely dark? I kind of like the idea of lighting a small fire. You know, it's really primitive, ingenuity, stupid, because the baby is in a cardboard box. Oh, I'm sure this isn't going to end terribly. Oh, it went well. Huh. Okay, well, we save money on little skin grafts, I suppose. Should I change the diaper? Ooh, that might be too expensive. Uh, I'm seeing that this wall could use some clowns as well. I could uh, watch an ad to use a diaper genie. What kind of shitty wishes do you think a diaper genie grants? <laughs> that may be one of my worst jokes ever. Or I can use reusable diapers. I don't know what the Christ of diapers is, so uh, too expensive. Sorry, okay, these clowns aren't gonna buy themselves. Out of everything I just did, I didn't think that poop would be what broke the baby. Friggin' kids, man, I'm telling you, they never let you have any fun. Okay, fine, you can sleep in a crib. Look at this beautiful little expensive box that I bought for you. You're still getting the clowns, though. You will learn to love them. And, uh, I'll, I'll leave the room dark so that you can think about what you did to me. What you're doing to me? Apparently the fire was a better choice. Good to know. Should I change the diaper? Uh, yeah, I guess we'll go with the reusable diapers. They're probably close enough. That still really screwed me, but at least you didn't break entirely. What should I name the baby? After my favorite color? After my favorite snack? Or after my favorite clothing brand? Uh, I don't know if I have a favorite of any of these things, to be honest. Nothing is really jumping to the front of my mind after staring into your cold, dead eyes. So I think I'm just going to go with all three. Favorite color, blue. Favorite snack, waffle. Favorite clothing brand, Gucci. You're going to be blue waffle Gucci. Hope you appreciate that. Oh, he didn't. And I broke him again. I'm really trying here. I thought I made it pretty clear that I should be careful giving the kids sleep paralysis demons. Are we sure this is a good birthday gift? I mean, yeah, I, I guess that's the only choice, but just toss it up on the shelf and hope that he forgets it exists. You're a year old now. Sorry I missed your birthday. You know, I was busy. Aw, oh, don't cry. Come on. Oh, it's, it's, maybe I can give you, um, mustards? 
<laughs> Do you like must? No, mustard make you stupid. Okay, um, he liked it though. <laughs> Teach baby a new word. You mean a new word? Does, does baby know any words? Baby should learn how to say no. It'd make parenting a whole lot easier. Oh, come on. Saying no is healthy. What do you mean? Kids, I, I, I freaking hate kids. I really do. Listen here, Blue Waffle Gucci. If you're gonna grow up in a sauce household, then you better learn to appreciate some sauce. You down that. Nope, that's just as bad as mustard, apparently. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> and I, I wanna teach you uh, hello? I still think no would be a whole lot more helpful to the both of us, but what do I know? I'm just the parent. <laughs> Baby is crying again. What's wrong? You wanna check the diaper? Give some money? Or needs a spanking. No, never that. That's not funny. Uh, let's give him some money. You like that? Oh, that actually worked. Okay. <laughs> We're raising a little philanthropist who's on the move. Oh, that's not good. Baby is learning to crawl. How will you help? Uh, you know, let's make it a little bit hard on him. Oh, my baby gotta fall down to get back up. Yeah, oh, mm, no, I broke his scales. Whatever the hell that means. Could I get a bit more of a description? Could I teach baby what those words are? If Boston Dynamics and the robots have taught us anything, is that the only way to teach walking is to push it over with a hockey stick until it stops getting pushed over. So why can't I do that to my baby? I don't understand. I'm gonna encourage them. Sure, keep going because you understand anything that I'm saying to you. Oh my God. Why would I feed you a Taco Bell breakfast? Oh, baby didn't make a mess. Baby's butthole exploded. Uh, 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 clean. No, we're gonna use a fire hose. This is a fire hose kind of scenario. There we go. <laughs> and I think he almost got beamed up to the Enterprise, but he's looking all right. Baby needs new clothes. Baby never had clothes, right? Uh, let's just, um, what's a bat friend? Go with bat friend? Oh, like Batman. I tried to hit you with a Batman reference earlier. No, why do we fall down, Master Bruce, so that we can get back up? But no, I pushed you over, you cried, you little shit. Calm your tits, Blue Waffle Gucci. I've had enough of your shenanigans for one day. I'm only giving you one more try. If you bail on me again, then dumpster it is. <laughs> Happy birthday, baby, you get candy. Is, oh, you, you really, you're gonna cry for candy, are you sure? You sure about that? What kind of baby are you? Baby is playing in the trash. What do you do? Leave it? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna explain why it's bad. You, you really shouldn't be playing in garbage. Okay, I have a really smart baby. And he's using those smarts to draw on the wall. Are you kidding me? Oh. No, he used it to draw on himself. Look, Ma! I'm a rapper! Oh my god. How how have I given you such a bad influence that you've decided to be a little bee baby, a little, little blue waffle? <laughs> um yes. Yes, you're a rapper. Yeah, bravo. Good job. You you really killed it. You're apparently that's a bad thing. Yeah, you're you're probably gonna go to jail for snitching or something like that. We're gonna have to cut this off. Uh, witness protection it is, I suppose. I don't think I know how to cut hair. I definitely don't know how to cut hair. <laughs> you can, oh. If I could watch an ad, then I could pop a half melon on your head. Or I could just give you a fedora right now, or a fez. I don't think that's actually good. That doesn't cover anything. <laughs> oh, that broke him again. Okay, I'm done dealing with Blue Waffle Gucci's fashion. This is ridiculous. Three random games. I don't usually pull back the curtain on these videos and, and like show you guys how the sausage is made, but you're not gonna believe this because I've spent the better part of half an hour just trying to find a third game. There's something that works. At this point, I'll take anything or almost anything because they keep coming across stuff like Real Mother Life Simulator, Happy Family Games 3D, which just rolls off the tongue. You know, it sounds super legit <laughs> until you realize that's a sim. These are quite clearly models that were ripped from The Sims 4 and then used in a completely different game. Like, I don't even feel comfortable downloading this to see because that is so illegal. Pregnant Mother Simulator Newborn Pregnancy Games by Fat Lion Studio. They're even ripping off their studio name because Lion Studios is one of the most popular for making crappy mobile games. Most of the stuff that I've played on this channel, Lion Studios. <laughs> like, just look at this. 
they are sims. They're, they're terrifying sims, don't get me wrong, but there's no way this is a game. Or if it is a game, then they went through a lot of effort to steal. We got Kitty Care Twin Baby Game. Even though it's rated E for everyone, I can guarantee that is gonna get me demonetized. Baby Ava Daily Activities Kids Educational Games. That's just gonna put me on a watch list. Real Mother Baby Games 3D Virtual Family Sim 2019. Look, I've got nothing. I got absolutely nothing, okay? I got three random games to play, but only two games. Look what they did to Santa. <laughs> I'm done. I just, I can't. All right, you know what? I think that's gonna be it for this episode of three random games, guys. Two random games, whatever. I, I just, I don't even know anymore. Like, I would have genuinely thought that the babies would have less development time than the games would, but here we are, just left with absolutely nothing. If you guys want to see more, as always, be sure to leave a like in the video, leave a comment letting me know, and maybe I'll return to never be a mother again. Thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.